Good day, Crustacean Nation. So, Pronault here with another video. Uh, another little unboxing today. Should be a quick one. Uh, I know exactly what I've got here. We have a pump for my latest tank uh, that I said I was going to receive pretty soon, and a special little shirt. So, I'll go ahead and open up both of these bad boys right away, and uh, we'll get a good look at them. And today, we're using the trusty yellow scissors to open up these packages. So just gonna cut in like that, too easy, let's have a look see. So as you can tell, this air pump is from Aqua One, um, it goes with the tank that I have. Uh, long story short, I had this pump once before that came with the tank, um, I accidentally broke it, and I then got a replacement of a lower caliber, I guess, um, so I could have my better in there, and we now have the original one back again. Um, so I'm going to give it a test in my latest tank, we will have a look and see how it goes. Um, it's a pretty solid little pump, I know that for sure, but I sort of want to test it and see if it's worthy, and just sort of see if it's going to create um, the kind of flow that I want. So we'll go ahead and test that out in a second. And something that I've been waiting for for quite a while, whether I make more of these, I'm not too sure, but I'm very keen to uh, show it off. So here it is, as you can tell, it is a piece of clothing. And it's got a little friend of ours on it. Here he is. How cool is that? We've got the little surfer on a lot on a shirt. Um, and this jumper feels really nice. Now this did cost a fair bit of money, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is a pretty premium shirt and that print is really clear and really nice. So I don't think I can really, um, you know, sell these or sell them as merch um, at a reasonable price. So. I'm not going to do any of that yet, um, but in the future I would love to do something like this with the little logo on. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on and show it off. So this is the tank that we're going to be putting this pump into. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grab it out. Um, it comes with a little bit of air hose uh, for putting bubbles into the water. I have most of these little parts that it comes with. I'm um, hoping that I'll have enough little bits. So there it is, pretty chunky boy. Um, we'll just go ahead and take that out. Have some instructions and a few other little bits and bobs. So it comes with all these little attachments and things. Um, I have heaps of these and I like to sort of puzzle together um, something that will work. Um, I did start off with a spray bar in here, but I did convert it over to a different pump and the spray bar didn't fit on anymore. So hopefully we can get a spray bar onto this one. Uh, here it is again. So this will just like poke in here, I think. So you can do it like this, but I'm gonna attempt to add a few more things on top. Um, they've also made these little tubes slightly clear now. Uh, they used to be like fully uh, PVC sort of black. So it's kind of cool that it's sort of clear, but um, like I said, I'll go ahead and uh, rig something up. I was uh, working on the big pump here, as you can see, this is the new one. Um, I was working on it, putting it into there, getting it all lined up. It lined up really well, it pushed out water really well, uh, a little too well, and it was sucking all the water out of here, um, and the water wasn't coming back quick enough. So that was a bit of a worry. It was also rattling and making like churny noises. Um, I checked multiple times, there was no air in there. I don't know what was going on with it, but it didn't sound good. It was yeah, just rattling really loudly, um, like this one is pretty much silent. So this is the one that I had in before. Um, I'm going to stick with this one, I think, and just use this little spray bar that shoots the water out pretty nicely. Um, I was just hoping to have a little bit more oomph in it, but I guess that's not going to happen with this one today. Um, I may get a refund on this, if not, I'll just keep it around as sort of a spare, but it does seem like it was already a little broken and rough, like this seems a bit loose. Um, the bottom here makes like a little clicky noise all the time. And this may be nitpicking, but just back here near the propeller, there's almost uh, little holes and stuff in the actual plastic. So whether that was causing it, maybe water was going through there and throwing off the propellers or something like that, um, I'm not sure, but it didn't seem to be working very well and it was rattling quite a lot. Um, I tried turning it down and stuff like that, but 
as I said, the water was still getting sucked out through the bottom. Um, so it just seems maybe this one is a bit off. Um, as you can see, a bit of water mess. I had to use these pliers to get the actual tube, uh, one of these tubes out of the little hole because it's all stuck in there. Bit of a mess, bit of a downer. Um, I guess with the winds come, you know, bad luck. Um, we got this awesome shirt though, so I don't know, the shirt, probably the uh, the better of the unboxings here today. So this was not a success today. Um, very sad in that. So I'm pretty happy with the flow that's going on now. Um, it's doing a nice ripple effect. I'm pretty, pretty stoked with this tank. It's looking awesome. Uh, plants are starting to grow in nicely, so Stay tuned for more on this tank. I will definitely be adding fish into here. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.